if you were here last night, you, you will appreciate and understand why I'm reading this. It's, uh, I was sent this uh, late last night. I'm probably going to use it, maybe, maybe add a little, tweak it here and there, but uh, I'm going to use it for probably Tuesday's post on the given 15. Because last night we talked about the revival that's coming and we, we referenced a good bit about the youth. Yes. And um, you know, in some ways, you know, the, the young folks are going to just, in some ways they're going to take over. Yes. But they need us. Yes. And we may, we may not be on the court, uh, you know, running up and down with the basketball, but we're going to be on the bench coaching and helping them coordinate and do what they do better. I don't want to run with some of them. <laughs> Too old for that. <clears throat> but this is a testimony sent to me um, by two, two high school students in uh, Franklin, Tennessee. So um, I'm just going to read the whole thing. So the first one is, her name is Catherine. Catherine says, lukewarm. When I think of Williamson County students, this is the first word that comes to mind. Of course, when some people hear this, their first reaction is at least we somewhat believe in God. If I'm being completely honest, for a long time I was one of those students. However, in the past two months, I've grown and watched as Jesus took the testimony and hope that he offered me and allowed it to reach other people. Not only in Williamson County, not only within the United States, but even some people in other nations. Jesus says that he would rather us be all in rather than just halfway. Being a Christian and truly changing your life to glorify Jesus is the most amazing thing you can do. The whole reason we're on this earth is to live for him and bring others to that understanding. Investing your life for eternity is way more rewarding than spending your life just for yourself. My name is Catherine, she gives her last name, and I'm currently a junior at Franklin High School. I'm here to say that Jesus is moving. It has been so inspiring to watch the Holy Spirit flood the halls of our schools and the hearts of those who didn't even know who Jesus was just a few months ago. Understanding and emphasizing that Jesus meets us where we are, that he is a God who lends his hand to us and is near to the brokenhearted, that there is nothing he won't forgive us for, that his love has brought us so much peace and faith has led to the reformation that's happening here among us. And then Reagan, a young man named Reagan, picks it up. About a month ago, a recurring vision led me to sit and think for a while. Jesus was telling me that teens needed to come together and just worship. This led us to become a community and a family connected to our common pursuit of faith. I can envision thousands of people in Nashville coming together to learn about Jesus, worshiping and hearing each other's testimonies. At the same time, my friend Josh felt God calling him to unite the churches. Together, along with the help of Devers, who already had a huge Bible study group forming, we started United as One. Our goal is to reach as many people as possible, not only in Tennessee, but throughout the nation. We've given it all to Jesus it is in his hands. He's already provided in big ways. We're so excited to see what the Lord will continue to do. My name is Reagan Weiss. And I'm a senior at Page High School in Williamson County. Currently, we're thankful to be experiencing a massive spread of hunger for the Lord. This student-led movement we're calling As One started with just 20 students 
and has grown to around 330 in only a couple of weeks. What is special about what's happening right now is the desire that kids have to learn more about God and grow in their faith. Students from all over our county have been meeting three to four times a week. We meet on Zoom at various homes for Bible studies. We've gathered at churches to support one another and out in public spaces like our community rec center. Recently we met for worship at the landmark Natchez Trace Bridge where several people tragically take their lives each year. Kids are hungry to meet together, share their testimonies and fellowship. We're learning and growing in the word. It's really exciting to see us already becoming a big family. This has been such a hard time for so many kids with online schooling and quarantines. A sense of isolation is very real to our classmates. Christians, or Christian and non-Christian kids alike are struggling with some of the same things and are able to talk with one another openly. We're praying for each other, seeking what God has to say about the things we're facing. The kids are getting saved and growing together. Our prayer is that this is only the beginning. Something special is happening. It's awesome to see. Yes. It's really cool because we have all had our own separate relationships and walks with the Lord, but it helps when we can connect as a group to encourage each and to be salt and light in our schools and community. It's our desire to see this grow and expand in our schools throughout our state and across the nation. That this will be something those of us who are seniors will take with us to our college campuses. We don't want this to be just a short-lived spark, but our desire is to see this become a sustainable fire for all to experience God's loving presence and his redeeming sense of hope. It's amazing, isn't it? And then they actually write the, the prayer and decree for me. <laughs> you want to hear the prayer? Yeah. Lord, we pray for the students in our schools, counties, and our nation. So many are lonely, hurting, and so much pain. Many look happy on the outside, and yet on the inside are struggling with hearts full of despair that only you are fully aware of. We pray for them to feel your love. We pray for them to encounter you and your presence in a way that would fill them and change them. We pray for an awakening that breaks out with students in our nation's elementary, middle, and high schools, and the nation's college campuses. We thank you for bringing divine purpose out of many terrible tragedies and ask you to touch not only students, but their families. And use this spark to bring a beautiful fire of hope and redemption to our nation. In Jesus' name. And their decree is, Lord, we declare that there is no problem we face that you have not first created a solution for. Let us, as a nation, make you bigger than every obstacle we face. Amen.